What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Kingdom Come Deliverance. Well, it's early morning here in Ratai, and the first thing I think we're going to do is we're going to go up here to the city and steal the ring from this person's house, because I think they'll probably be asleep right now. It's such early morning. Hopefully the guard won't be out, and if they are, we'll have to uh, figure something else out, but... We're going to at least come up here and try it. After that, I think we may take a trip up north. Um, we've got to get some rabbits for the inn at the Glade. As well as there's a treasure in Scallets I would like to try to find. So, uh, pretty busy day here ahead for us. And uh, we'll just have to see how things go. I don't know if we'll be able to get into this locker or not without getting noticed. That's the problem. I wonder if there's a door around the other side. I've probably already checked once. We really need to get into this house, but I don't know how we're going to actually manage to do that with the guard around. Um, hmm. Oh, she's actually going in there. Hey, Henry's come to see us. Hey, buddy, what's up? Can I sneak in right behind her? Oh. Good health to you, Henry. Good health to you as well. I'm trespassing, but... You. What are you doing? Fuck off before I lose my temper. Okay, somebody, somebody called us. Alright, sorry. My apologies, good sir. Seems like everyone's going in there, like, really early in the morning. It's like 6 a.m., and usually people aren't up yet, but... Apparently they are. Well, how do I get into this house here? Well, we may have to pass this up again and try this out another time. Which is really unfortunate, because I'd really like to. Did they leave the door unlocked? They did not. And I guarantee you, if I tried, they would all see me pickpocketing. I mean, pickpocketing. They would see me unlocking the door. Um... Whoops, sorry, no. I wonder if I do it like this. If anybody will see me because I'm behind this fence. We're going to try it. Oh, wow, they actually didn't. Knock out. No, I didn't mean to kill him. Dang it. Well, he's dead. <laughs> Whoops. That was a, uh... Didn't mean to, sir. I apologize. I really think I feel like I should probably... A family ring. I feel like that I should probably restart, but I'm not going to. Trunk key, door key. We'll take those and just see if... So we can unlock this as easy. What do you got in here? Mel Coif will take. Nobleman will take that, that. Anything that's worth money will take. It's amazing how we weren't a thief to begin with, but we've became a thief. And our older, uh... Or the, the, the older we get, the more thieving we do. But we need the money, though. That's the thing. Alright, so... That's been settled. So we need to head back to... I'm not sure where exactly, and we've got a lot of stuff on our person as well. Not sure what the deal is with that. Um, we'd head back to somewhere. Who who wanted this ring stolen? I assume it's this guy down here. Yeah, Vagabond. Alright, well, we'll go down there to Vagabond. Go ahead and give this ring to him. And, uh, and then we'll start making our way up north. And like I said, we need to go by... We gotta go get some rabbits for the end of the glade. So that's maybe the first thing we need to do. There's Vagabond. Wake up. Shit. Sod off. No, you get up. It's like, it's morning time. I guess I have to wait on him. Wait an hour? Sure, why not? Hopefully he'll be up by 7.20 or so. 
I don't want to wait too long because I've got such a long journey. Oh, he is up. Good. And he's already begging. Hello, sir. How are you? God be with you. God be with you as well, Vagabond. I've got that ring. I've got that ring. Ha! That'll bring tears of joy to that poor widow. I hope you filled your own pocket while you were at it. You're a handy lad. You could be king of all the thieves in Ratai. What else have you got for me? What else have you got for me? Something really special this time. Ah. There's a stuck-up plot merchant from Ledechko who comes to Ratai from time to time. The bastard claims poverty is God's punishment on us for our sins. I'd like to show him what God's punishment looks like. Mm-hmm. Now, if you were to lift his guild seal from his pouch, he'd never live down the shame of losing it once the guild gets wind of it. The mills of God grind slowly but surely, eh? And we'll help them along. As a reward, I'll get you something well, really wonderful. Henry. Just wait and see. I'm on, I'm on it. it. Guess we have to come back. Hey, uh... Hold right there. Show me what you have on you. No thanks. Are you deaf? I don't have anything on me. Hmm. I wonder if I could drop the stolen stuff real fast. Come oh. On. No, I don't want to surrender. I don't. I'll no. I'm. I want to run away. Where's? You asked for it. What? Ah, uh, I guess because I killed the guy, maybe. Is that the best you can do? All right, I'm gonna surrender. Hmm. What's gonna happen here? And now I'll fix you good and proper. You'll soon learn what justice means. You should have thought twice about what you're doing. That will land you a fat fine. Thirty bucks is a fat fine. Okay, sure. Uh, watch your step. I'm in the services of the Lord of Ratai. Uh, actually, I've been given a secret task. Look, I'll tell you the truth, but you mustn't tell anyone. The Lord of Ratai sent me on a secret mission. And to do it, I have to bend the law a little now and again. Understand? Well, I thought, that is, I had no idea. That's how it is. Of course you may go. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Got away with stealing, killing, you know, the regular stuff. Where's this guy coming out from Letacheco? Is he still in Letacheco? He is. Um, hmm. I think we'll worry about him later. I want to head up this way. There's an old lady up here near Neuhoff that we need to steal something from. Hunt for some rabbits at the end of the glade. And then I want to take a trip, maybe if we have time, up to Scallets. That's a long ways away. I wonder if there's anything we can do uh, along the way. Hmm. Alright, let's go ahead and activate this quest. Um, this one we're going to deactivate. Oh, no, 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 that's... Yeah, we're going to, we're going to deactivate this one for now. Um, camp leader's over there. We'll not worry about that one. Queen of Sheba's sword. Don't know where the other pieces are to that, but I think they're scattered around uh, for around blacksmiths and stuff like that. Uh, well, we could we're here. We could go ahead and talk to this. Um, tough love. This is a widow here. Uh, we met a few episodes ago. Up near the executioner's house, and I think her husband had been arrested, and actually he had killed her husband, if I remember right. And we are to find more about her family, and maybe I guess try to find maybe somewhere she can go. So let's go ahead and uh, see if we can get in here to the bailiff, because that's where we need to be, and see if he knows anything about her family. Let's see, the bailiff should be right up here, and hopefully he's already awake. He is, good. Actually, quite surprising. This may be the scribe. Now this is the bailiff, good. God be with you. God be with you too as well, sir bailiff. Uh, Elish, Elishka's family. Do you know Elishka? The wife of the man who was hanged recently. The one that's with the executioner now? Yes. That's her. 
Uh, life can be cruel sometimes. Um, right. And do you know if she has kinfolk somewhere around? How should I know? Now, if you don't mind, I'm very busy. Uh, all right. Um, how about surely you know me? That gives us a plus two. Um, you owe me is probably not the best one to you. What, I think this one's still the best. I mean, you'll have one less thing to deal with. If Eliska stays with the executioner, it'll end up being your problem anyway. Christ. Oh, all right then. Tell the scribe. All right, the scribe. Thanks. Which one? Where can I find him? He's suffering with some ailment, so no doubt he'll be lying in his chambers above his study on the top floor of the rat house. All right, so right over there next door, that's all you had to say. Do we have any books around here we can actually read, I wonder? Um, because I need to read some more to get my reading skill up. So I'm going to kind of look around real fast, see if there's anything here I can read. I wish you could rob those lock boxes there. Uh, we're in a private area. Oh, oh dear, not a private area. Uh, they have nothing in there of value. Hmm, wonder what's in there. Oh, I did not realize that there were people up here. Sorry. I'm leaving now. Let's go over here to the scribe. Scribe's got some books, I'm sure. Um, close this door because we're not raised in a barn, or maybe we were. Not sure. Ah, here we go. Here's a book uh, that we can't read, of course. Um, so this is the scribe's room, and I guess he's upstairs. Oh, here we go. Let's go ahead and, uh, just kind of be a bit nosy here. What's in this chest? Oh, man. Look at that. Books galore. Wow. Holy cow. Um... We're taking them all. And we'll get to reading some of those, maybe, at some point. Uh, yeah, let's just, um, kind of look around. See if we see anything else. Is that some new kind of game? Uh, yeah, that's exactly what, wow, how... Hmm. More books. I wonder if you'll see us taking them. I don't think there's anybody in here. So, sure, why not? <laughs> Stole them right under the bailiff's nose. Another lockpick door, but I'm afraid that I'm... I feel like I might be... Pushing this a bit far. There we go. Awesome. What's in here? We're trespassing again. What is in here, I wonder? All these doors are locked. Which is good, because we can kind of get our lockpick skill up by opening them. If we don't get caught. I think we're pretty safe. This must go outside. It's got to. No? Goes into a storehouse. With really nothing in it. Oops. Close that back. Try this one here. Really should have done leveled up our skill. Shh. I got a trunk here. Some chicken bones. I can sleep and save there, but don't think there's really a point in doing that. Alright, let's go back in here and uh, go up here and talk to the scribe. Gosh, I hope we don't get caught with all these books. We got more books up here. The scribe's asleep. I actually would like to read some of these books, but I don't know if you guys would enjoy reading them with me so I'll probably read them on my own time if you would like to read them or know what they say let me know I have no problem 
reading some of those out loud. Um, well, let's see what we got here. This is the no. Okay, let's go ahead and talk to him. Good health to you, sir. Good health to you as well, sir. Scribe. Uh, records about people. Is it possible to find out from the records where someone lives? You think we keep records of every serf? For Christ's sake, they breed like rabbits. But, but I thought that in the rat house, though, in 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 the books, boy. The books are for recording pacts, undertakings, punishments, property rights, and so forth. In other words, important things. We don't keep records of serfs. Elishka won't be happy about that. Hmm. Elishka? You don't mean the one who married into the Mishek family? Yes. Yes, you know her. Why wouldn't I? I used to play dice with old Mishek years ago. Ah. He had a son. A nice, polite lad. How is he? Dead. Um. Tied up. He's well. Well, um. He's fine. I'm glad to hear <laughs> it. I was always fond of him. And where are the Mishaks living now? A stone's throw from Rate by the small fish pond. Thanks. Oh, good. Um, yeah, okay, cool. Well, while we're here, I think we'll go ahead and. Uh, rob all the books that's in this bookshelf. I wonder if I can get to it from down here where I can't be seen. I cannot. Uh, hmm. I'm a bit nervous about trying to rob it when he's right there. Well, we could go down here and, and pop a quick one hour save. And then come back. I think that's the best, the best thing to do. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's pop a save right here. Real quick. Uh, one hour, yep. And then we'll go back and take those books. And then if we get caught, we can just revert back to the save. And I think everything will be fine. Uh, and then I will go through and read all these books. And uh, we'll either keep them or we'll sell them. We'll probably keep them. I have this weird thing. When I'm playing games like this. I do the same thing in the Elder Scrolls games. Um, I keep all the books for whatever reason. Like I, I ever, like I don't keep every book I find, but I keep all like one of every like different book I find. You know what I mean? So if, like I, I try to find. I, I just collect them. I'll try to find all the skill books, you know, and stuff like that. And I've got um in my Skyrim playthrough, I've got tons of mods in there. I've got a mod that actually shows you if you've read a book or not it, the books glow if you have not read them and um i've got like a thousand books it adds a lot of books from uh old skyrim games so all right i want to go in here and, and see do we have any savior snops good day sir do we have any savior snops or marigold decoctions because those we actually need and i need to get rid of these eggs because they are bad um, let's go ahead and just drop those real quick. Right on the ground there. But, um, let's see, Marigold Decoction, we have three of those, so we're good there. And what about Savior Snops? I think we have at least one. We may not have any, actually. I don't think we do. Let's go ahead and buy some of them. Good day to you. Good day to you as well. Thank you so much. You're so you're so kind. Let's talk trade. Save your snops. Where is it? Um, man, all these recipe books are quite expensive. I think we've read that one. Here we go. We got five. They're 161 a piece. I would like to buy three of them, please, and uh, hopefully we can talk you down quite a bit because that's a lot of money for that. Uh, check basket haggle the price we'll try to talk you down to like 300 Let's talk or something about the price hmm all right so all right uh 485 i will give you 400 that's a since it's you that's asking for a lot less well a little more and we'll call it a deal okay how about 405 all right so all right nice well it's so easy 
Okay, well, we got that for a decent price. We'll have to, um, need, really need to learn how to make those ourselves. Okay, so he said down by the pond. I'm assuming the pond he's talking about is right over in here. Because that's the only pond that I see. Um, however, we can go ahead and activate this quest, and that should tell us where it's at. Um, oh, so, yes, yeah, okay, there's a pond over here, nice. Okay, so we'll go that way to that pond. Let's go ahead and get on our horse and uh, ride over there. And I am very, very much over encumbered, so I've really got to do something about that. I think we'll go back to... We'll go talk to this... <laughs> I'm running over everybody. We're going to go talk to this person. And then we're going to head back to um, one of our save points to where we've got a chest at. And we need to unload a lot of the stuff we've got on us, I think. Alright, can we get out right here? I think we can. Yes, we can. Good. So... Maybe a road leading down here somewhere, hopefully. I love just riding around in this game. It's I know I've said it over and over, but it's just it's such a relaxing It's just such a relaxing game to play. Alright, uh let's look at the map again. Is there a road leading down that way? There is, but it is going to be a while before we get there. Uh, maybe we can kind of come right down through there. We'll try that. Come on, Henry. You can do this, Henry. Elmer. I feel like I should have just named my horse Henry. That's what I always call him for whatever reason. Alright, we can go down right here, I think. Oh, maybe not. That's a pretty steep cliff there. Um, okay, we'll carry on a little farther. I guess we'll just go all the way down to the end and then turn around. It doesn't appear like there's going to be an easier way. And who knows, maybe we may run across one of these wafers along the way and get another treasure map. Another shrine. Okay, I think we're coming up on our destination. Right here on the left. Really nice place too. I'd love to have me a little cabin like this. Looks like a miller's house. Alright. Hello sir, how are you? I need to talk to you for a minute please. Push off you beggar. Okay, I'm not a beggar but Go to hell. Wow, okay. Excuse me. Hmm, that's locked. Maybe. I guess he's up here somewhere, perhaps. Oh, am I not in the right house? Yeah, I'm in the right house. Ah, oh, they're out here in the garden. Okay. Hello, elderly woman. What is it now? You got straw in your hair. I have news about Alishka. I've got information about your daughter-in-law. <laughs> Elishka's fine, only she needs... Never heard of her. Get lost. Hmm. She's your kin. She's your nearest kin. Elishka's part of your family, and she really needs your... I won't help anyone. Wow. <laughs> Old hag. I could make it worth your while. I could make it worth your while. Really? And what is it you want? Your son's widow needs help. She has nowhere to go. What do I care about some useless girl? Hmm. She would help. A fire could be dangerous. <laughs> oh man, I would love to say that. But uh, we're not playing that kind of character. She would help. She could help you with the farm. She definitely knows how to take care of things. 
a bit of help would come in handy. Especially Send her here, then. But don't let her think she'll be taking it easy. She'll have her work cut out. Yeah, yeah that sounds I know. quite. And if I hear a peep out of her, I'll take a stick to her back. Fine salvation this is. Hmm. I'm not sure if that was the right idea because it doesn't sound like she's gonna enjoy her life very much. But well, I guess we'll go talk to her and see what she wants to do. Um, she's going to be, I assume, back at the executioner's place, so we'll have to ride back that way. Yeah, I thought this was a really good idea up until she said something about, what is that? What are those? Deer? It don't look like deer. So she said something about taking a stick to her back, like she's going to basically use her as a slave, which I'm not 100% sure. Um, I'm going to be honest with her when I get up here, I think, and tell her, you know, hey, this is a place you can stay, but... I don't know if you're going to enjoy it. I don't like the way that turned out. I should have known whenever the old man was, you know, telling me to go to hell, like, immediately. Before even talking to me. Alright, well. On with our journey, and I will, uh, see you guys, I reckon, when I get there. Okay, so is she still sitting out here sobbing? Yep, she sure is. Alright, let's have a word with her. Tell her the good slash bad news. Hello, Alishka. You've stopped crying. You're not crying now? I'm not. I've wept enough for a lifetime. It's a bit of a change since my last visit. I haven't had much luck in my life, but I've always worked things out in the end. Tears are no help to anything. That's true. So, did you find out something about them? I did. I found your husband's father and mother, and uh, they're willing to take you in. But? They're a-holes. They're not all that nice. They're, um... They're not very nice people, Elishka. They probably work you to the bone. But you would get fed. Life is never easy, but at least I'd have a family. Hmm. I'll discuss it with Herman. Who is Herman? You're right. I'll have another talk with Herman. Okay, that's the executioner. All right, let me go talk to him and see what he thinks. Like, it's... I wonder why the executioner wouldn't want her... I'm going to wash myself real quick. I wonder why the executioner wouldn't want her living here with him. She's a pretty girl. He doesn't seem like he has a family. I wonder if that's a, uh, if that's like a thing that didn't happen back then. Executioners weren't allowed to have family. Okay, he's actually coming out, I think. Yeah, good. Hello, Herman. Need to have a word with you, please. Eliska's looking better. She is, but she's not happy. God sent the poor girl great trials. Yeah. Indeed. Did you know her whole family was wiped out by the plague? She was barely 12. I... Losing your family isn't easy. Ah. Sorry, I wasn't thinking. So, did you find out anything about that kin of hers? Uh, I found them, to, but I don't like them. I have. I tracked them down. They say they take her in, but I'm not sure if she'd do well there. Leave that to her. I just hope she'll be better off than now. Would you like Elishka to stay? I've heard the way you talk about her, and, um... Would you like Elishka to stay? You know how she was always the sweetest girl. When she came with her family to retire, still single, she was a sight to behold. And it might surprise you, but she even had a word or two for me now and again. Hmm. It grieved me when she married that wastrel. 
It was a foolish idea, but I always thought maybe she and I could... Well, fate likes a good laugh. Now I've strung up her old man. I have her under my roof. After all the years I was thinking of her. I don't want her to leave, but... I don't want her to be unhappy here, either. Maybe we can talk to her again and see what she thinks about that, because I really think that she would be much happier staying here, to be honest. Um, I feel like Herman would take care of her a lot better than the other people. Where will you stay? Have you made your mind up? I can't decide. I don't know Mishikskin at all, but at least I'd have a family. You should stay with Herman. Herman could give you a family too. He's a decent, upright fellow. I've met none better, and that's the honest truth. But he's an executioner. So? That's the problem. That the other women won't chat with you down at the creek. Did that sort of gossip ever interest you anyway? He's a fine man, isn't he? He's willing to take care of you, and he has the means to do it. And he wants you. He's so sick with love for you, he can't even sleep. But did he really say that? He told me he's been in love with you for years. He said he always thought you were the sweetest girl in Ratai. That's true. We used to meet now and again and exchange a few words. I... Well, he always treated me nicely. By all that's holy, you're right. I'll stay here. Good. Happiness all around. That's what I like to see. I've made a decision that I think actually works Herman? well. Yes? Could I... Can I stay here with you? What? You good. If, if, if you don't want me to... You can! By God, you can! Oh, <laughs> oh happy day. <laughs> You've made me the happiest man in the world. Well, easy there, Herman. I, <laughs> she just said she'd stay. She, she, you're going to run her off really quick. Awesome, man. I'm glad they're happy. I wonder if they'll say anything about this now. Thank you, Henry. I have a feeling with Herman, I can finally find some happiness. Oh, for sure. You will. The two of you are made for each other. Yes. Yes, you are. Herman. Hey. Thank you, Hal. Thank You're welcome, you. brother. Think nothing of it. The main thing is, everything worked hey, out well. Lord it, Almighty. It, it did. It, it did. Thank you. And I want you to have this. Ah, what? God Almighty. I've got Alishka. After all these years, Again, me, dude, don't. the executioner has the woman he loves. Don't push it, my friend. 200 groschen for getting you a, a woman. Hey, I'll take it. And we're not trespassing in this house anymore. I wonder if you can rob him. <laughs> Probably shouldn't rob the executioner. Not a good idea. We've been there once. Alright, so... Obviously, this episode has taken a, a, a path that wasn't uh, what I expected. So, I think what we're going to do now, where is, uh, since we're kind of close to, um, oh shoot, what's the name of that city? Sasau. Well, no, we got Sasau, let her check over Neuhoff. Actually, you know what? I was thinking we could go to Sasau and go ahead and turn in these ingredients, but let's go to Neuhoff and uh, get this, I want to get this quest right here finished. Um, it's actually a bit above Neuhoff, but that's fine. And then, yeah, let's go do this, and then after that, we probably won't have time in this episode, but after that we'll go and do the end of the Glade mission, and then we'll see if we have anything going on up in here. I don't think we really have anything else going on up in here. I want to take a trip back to Pra... Okay, I'm going to try this. Pravoslavitz? I'm going to take a trip back up here at some point as well. Um... And just see if there's anyone actually living up there. Because there's these little faces here, I believe, are how much the towns like us. This one's neutral. This one's neutral. So we need to go both of these and see if we can help people, I think. Anyway, let's go ahead and take this journey. It's going to be quite a journey. So uh, we'll just do a time lapse of it like general. And, um, yeah, see you guys whenever we get to the uh, old lady's house. <laughs>
All right, well, we're pretty close to where she lives, and she must live kind of out in these woods or something, or maybe right on the other side of them. I don't think I've been out here before. We're not far from Neuhof, so we have been there. But uh, this through here, I think, is pretty much new territory for me. I don't think we've been through these woods yet. So uh, we're going to kind of go through here together, see what we see. You never know, we might see some, um, some cool stuff. Could be a treasure hidden around here somewhere. You never know. So far, I don't see much of nothing. There's a rock wall, so someone's been out here. So we can... okay, this must be her. Yep, this is her house right here, and she's actually sitting outside. So we got to... Oh, there's a guy there with her, apparently. She's out here all by herself. Let's talk to them, see what they got to say. Okay, we can't talk to either one of them, apparently. Be off now. What's that? You don't belong here. What, what the hell are you doing? Oh, well, easy, ma'am. Goodness. No, not really. You have Easter eggs in your house. How are we going to get past these guys? That's the problem. Hmm. I bet you if I try to put him to sleep, she would see me in likewise. Um, try to think of how we can do this. We could wait until night. I was hoping it'd be a bigger house. Got another chicken coop here, looks like. Yep, regular Easter eggs, no, uh, no golden eggs here. There's a lock box there. If I try to break into that one, will they see me? I think they... They might not. Oh, did they see me? They didn't see me. Nice. What exactly am I looking for here? I can't quite remember. I think a woman who's seen better days is playing the oldest trade in the world outside the inn in the glade. She wants to, she wants me to go thieving for her. Steal the wooden sh woolen shawl from the pillage, the village woman. All right, is the wool the shawl in here? It does not look like it. But we can take silent shoes. Is about the only thing she's got that's worth anything. So we'll take those. Um, I think we're best off if we, what time is it? We make it wait for a little bit. Ooh, it's not even close to being time. Um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go hunt some rabbits since I'm near here at the end of the glade anyway, and we'll come back here when it gets dark. Uh, I'm not going to show you guys me hunting these rabbits because you guys have seen that a lot. There's really no point in showing you. We'll come back here at night and see if maybe we can, uh, Maybe we can steal this thing from this woman. I think she's supposed to have like a, a an old book as well, which is one of the reasons I wanted to come up here. Anyway, let me go ahead and see if I can find these rabbits, and um, we'll turn two quests in at once if we can. Okay, we got enough hair meat there, so now we're going to go ahead and get out of the woods and head over to the inn at the glade and turn that mission in. And I bet you that he's going to have something else that we got to do as well. But um, this part of it's done. We actually got 24. All we needed was 6. So it probably would have been easier just to buy it, but that's fine. I wonder who that is. Oh, well, there's actually a path there. and I thought he was just kind of walking out in the field. Let's go ahead and get uh, Pep uh, Elmer. And we'll ride over to the end of the glade, which I think is this way. Put our bow up because we don't need that out anymore. That's interesting looking. Are those beehives, I think. I think they are. We may check that, those out on the way back. See if we can figure yeah. out what they are. So that should be the inn at the glade right there in front of us. A really nice place, actually, and in, in a in a very beautiful location.
While I was out there hunting for the rabbits, I actually found a, um, a campsite that I had been through before. Um, and I just kind of looked around it real fast and found a, uh, a bag of uh, 106 Groshen. So, awesome. I guess I'd missed it the first time I came through. Alright, where's this guy at? Here he is. Hello, Andrew. Got your hair me oh, for you. You look terrible. Did someone attack you? Yeah, I get attacked constantly, actually. I've got that meat for you. I've got the meat you wanted. I'm just going to give him all 24. Great. Nothing like the aroma of fresh game. That's right. Here you are. You've earned your grosh. What else do you need? Are you after some meat? Certainly. I'm expecting a traveling merchant who loves venison from roe deer. I'll be mighty grateful if you brought me some fresh stuff. Okay, so venison it is. And you offer training what kind? Axe. Nope. No thanks. Don't need that. Alright, well, let's go ahead and head back to the old folks' home real fast. And uh, see if maybe they're out and about doing something. Yeah. And if they're still sitting there, we'll have to wait on them and see if maybe we heck, we can sneak in there at night or whatever when they're asleep. And try our best not to kill them. I don't know why, but I tend to kill everyone that I try to si that I try to knock out. I don't want to kill them. I just want to knock them out. So uh, that's the next objective. I could so live in a place like this. It's kind of like this around where I live. Um, obviously not cabins everywhere, but uh, the way the country looks. There's a lot of fields and stuff around here and rolling hills. and it just uh, It's a real nice place to live. You know, you can get out in these fields and just... It's just relaxing, you know. And we're back, and yep, they're still set in the same spot, so let's go ahead and get off the horse, and we'll wait for just a little bit, and uh, see if they go in the house. What time is it? Let's wait for three hours. Still sitting there. Wait for two more or two more hours. You would think somebody was asking me what I was doing when I'm just standing in their yard for five hours in the same place. It's getting dark now. And they're still sitting there. You guys have no life at all. Uh, okay, so we'll wait for another hour. Surely by now they're going to be inside at least. Well, the old lady's still there, but the man is now gone. wonder if I could sneak up on her and knock her out. Let's wait for just a little longer. So now it's 11 o'clock at night. Okay, good, she's not here. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to be as... I was going to see we're going to be as stealthy as possible. And as I say that, I whistle. Um... I want to take off all of our armor that is going to make noise. So we'll keep the black hood on. This, um, let's take it off. All this stuff we're going to take off. No woman's collar. I think we're good there. This stuff we'll take off. Okay, that should be everything. So we should be pretty quiet now. You know, we're only producing 29 noise. So are they asleep? Looks like they are. Okay, we're going to knock him out. Not kill him. Knock him out. Same thing with her. Sorry, ma'am. I hate doing that, but it is what it is. Now we're going to steal what she's got. 
I don't like killing people, you know. I'm not a murderer. I'm just a thief. The Grasses and Herbs book. Oh, nice. So that's going to help us out. Okay, so that's the book. Old Horse Shaw. Old Horse Shaw. So this is an old horse as well. Okay, well, we'll take the old horse shawl. Um, don't worry about the sage. What about this guy? What's he got on him? Bandage. Doesn't look like he has anything of any value. He does have some money, so we'll take that. Uh, and that's about it, I think. Well, that worked out. They don't even have a front door. Wow. They're very, very poor. Uh, we'll unlock this as well, again. Just because I get the points for it. And uh, check it again one more time as well. Uh, and there's really nothing in here that's valued at much of anything. So, yep, we'll just leave that alone. Alright, let's get back to the inn at the Glade. We'll sleep overnight and we'll talk to the... Uh, talk to the whore when we get there and by whore I don't say that in a mean way that's literally her name it is whore so and you'll see those might be road deer there I don't think they are but they could be look at this night sky hey there's the little dipper I wonder if the constellations are, are uh... well here look let's see yeah, there's uh, that's Orion, and I'll show you my favorite constellation. I think that's Orion. Let me get out here where I can see a little better. Yeah. Oh, an interesting sight. What do we find? There may be a grave here. What is this? Let's check this out real quick. I know it's dark. Hopefully you guys can see what's going on. Oh, there's a, a money bag here. 180 groschen. Yeah, we'll take that for sure. Nice. So I, I do a lot of uh, historical research on different things. And apparently, uh, back in medieval times, and even, even in the United States into the mid 1900s and maybe people still do it people used to bury money all over the place uh, because they didn't trust banks you know they were scared to losing it from thieves and stuff like that especially in medieval times you had tax collectors coming around people would bury money out in the middle of nowhere you know so so they're probably there's probably money like this scattered out all over the place I do know that in the US because I do uh, some metal detecting and stuff um, occasionally uh, people I know have found uh, jars of like silver coins and stuff like that, so that people's buried. Matter of fact, I can't actually see Orion. I thought I thought this was it over here, right here, because that kind of looks like Orion's belt, and it might be, because Orion's kind of shaped like this, where you have a bottom here, a bottom here, Orion's belt, and then a top and a top. But um, anyway, like I was saying, uh, where my aunt grew up, um, her dad had lost a lot of money during the Great Depression and after the Great Depression was over he uh, he didn't trust the banks anymore so he buried a lot of his money in his backyard and when he passed away they had somebody was out there metal detecting ended up finding like forty thousand dollars in silver coins and gold and uh, silver bars and stuff like that and and paper money as well buried in a uh, an ammunition Don't box alright so why are you staring at me like that? So I need to find Andrew so I can stay here. I can actually probably stay here for free. I've done it before. Can't remember the actual room that we have to we get to use though. Jesus. Where? Hey, what the? Clear off before I call a patch pole. Calm down. I want a dang bed to sleep in. Is what Who's I want there? here. Answer me. Where is... Everybody comes up here to change their clothes. Where is the innkeeper? That's odd. Nothing here. Well, the old whore must be right over here somewhere. I sleep in the stall. Oh, there's something right there. 
Is there a way I can get into the side of this barn? Oh, we're stuck. No, we're not. Is she in here asleep? I didn't even know this place was here. Well, there she is. Go. Go away. Leave me alone. All right. Well, I guess we can sleep and save right here. We'll sleep with the, uh, with the peasants. I guess go ahead and get up at, like, let's sleep for seven hours. Well, it's morning time, and, uh, the old whore's getting up now. Easy there, you almost showed me your goodies. Um, I want to see what this book is all about real fast. It was Grass and Herbs, which leads me to believe it's probably another alchemy book, which is really good. So let's go ahead and read that. Um, in response to massive demand, this book contains 100 pages entirely dedicated to the phenomenon of nettles. I hope there's not really 100 pages. Uh, we just study it. Oh, so we can read. Okay. Can we actually turn the pages, though? If not, that's going to suck. We can't. Well, let's study it until... Let's study it for four hours, see what happens. That's interesting. I didn't, uh, I don't know if I necessarily like that. I think I would like it a lot better if I actually read the words, but, um, that's fine. Okay, well, we studied it and nothing happened. What if we study it for another four hours? We gotta be careful because we'll be so hungry we'll end up dying of, uh, hunger. So basically, we've been reading this book pretty much the entire day. And it has done nothing so far. Alright, well, put it back up. Alright, do we have, uh... Well, let's go talk to her real quick, and then I'll go eat, and then maybe I'll study some more of the book. And see what happens. Hello, old whore, I have your shawl. Here's your woolen shawl. Here's your woolen shawl. You're the soul of kindness, looking after a woman who's down on her luck. I wasn't always poor, you know, and I haven't always walked the streets. Sure. Tell me something about yourself. Tell me something about yourself. I was a farmer's wife at Neuhof, and I wanted for nothing. I had a decent dowry, my husband didn't beat me. <laughs> Only one day he found himself another woman and threw me out. Mm. He wouldn't even leave me my dowry. I begged for a while. But then I started selling the only thing I had, my body. What else could I do? And all on account of that bastard. Is there anything else I can help you with? Is there anything else I can help you with? Remember how I told you about my husband? Well now, after 20 years, the time has come to get my own back. My former husband is a farmer in Neuhof. He's the one who put me where I am today. And now he pretends he doesn't know me. But the ornamental dagger I gave him back then, that's still good enough for him, all right. I want you to steal it from him and bring it back to me. You'll get your reward. It'll take a little while. I'll be right back. No sooner said than done. God bless. I feel quite hungry. All right, well, I guess we'll end the episode here, and when we come back, we'll go ahead and try to get this dagger for this old whore. Uh, and um, I'm going to study this book. And see if it does anything. And if it does anything, then I will uh, let you guys know. Hey, guys. Um, I'll let you guys know what happens. I think if we just study it, we probably, like, learn a bit of alchemy or something. But I don't know how long it takes to learn it. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. I hope you have a great one. If you like the episode, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see more, subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next episode. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.